Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and today we are back with another Cookie Shinobu video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the three surslets that you can use for Cookie and which is better in what situation. We'll be testing the HP percentage surslet for Cookie, as well as an elemental mastery one and a healing bonus one to see what's the difference in terms of reaction damage, which we will use Overload as an example, and also the amount of healing she gets above and below 50% HP. And for those of you who don't know why Elemental Mastery matters in Kuki Shinobu's kit, it's because her second talent passive actually improves her healing of her E as well as the damage of her E based on her Elemental Mastery. And both her Elemental Skills healing and her Elemental Burst also scales off with HP. But what we don't know, which we will be testing later in this video, is whether HP percentage, Elemental Mastery or healing bonus, which is the best in terms of overall kit for Kuki Shinobu. In all testing videos, I'll be using Iron Sting, and the other four artifacts will remain the same. The only thing that changes is the Surslet. And let's start off with a HP percentage Surslet test, and let's take a look at some numbers. Our bond is strong! Now we'll be adding Yenfei to the test to prop overload to see how much damage the reactions do as well because it's a very significant factor in an EM focus Kuki Shinoku kit. So we just saw that her Sanctifying Ring E skill heals for between 2.4k to 2.8k depending whether she's above or below 50% HP and her overload damage that she does with her current EM with a HP percentage surslet is about 9,000 damage. Now we'll be switching to an Elemental Mastery Surslet, but take note that it has a total of 3 rows of HP in the substats. Whereas the HP percentage one only had 1 row of EM in the substat. So just take note that the healing will be slightly more than if it would have been for a like for like comparison of 1 row in the substat each. So what we notice here is that healing is roughly around the same even if we consider that there's two extra rolls of HP percentage but the overload damage is almost 10 to 20% higher compared to the HP percentage build. Of course, in an EM Surslet, you lose out at about roughly 4,000 to 5,000 HP, making her slightly squishier, especially if she's always below 50% HP. Now, this is where it gets interesting, and let's take a look at a healing bonus Surslet and what it does for healing and how much reaction damage it still does. Stand with me! Now the clear benefit of a healing bonus Sursler is you can get both the HP percentage and EM in the substats. Whereas for HP percentage and EM means that you can't get a healing bonus in the substat. So what we see here is that the healing bonus Sursler actually heals 20% more than the HP percentage Sursler that we saw earlier. And for those of you who stayed to the end, I have a surprise for you and a bonus. And I'll be switching to a similar healing bonus, but this time I stack everything into EM to take into account what we learned in the EM Sursler portion. What we should see here is a balance between healing as well as elemental reaction damage. Let's take a look. Stand with me! 
So all in all, we saw that the elemental reaction damage is much more with stacking EM in the sub stat, and also the healing is much more if we use a healing bonus circlet. And that's because the real benefit of healing bonus circlet is you can get both HP and EM in the sub stat. However, all three are decent options and fulfill really different niches. For example, if you want to stack elemental reaction damage, use EM. If you want slightly more chunk and you don't run a shielder and you're afraid of dying, HP might be a better way to go. But overall, I think healing bonus makes the most sense for overall well-built Kuki Shinobu. And if you found this video helpful, you might like our other videos on Kuki Shinobu, which I'll link in the videos right here. See you in the next video.